driving as per usual. He doesn't even ask me anymore. <laughs> We're heading to Karaman Wildlife Sanctuary. We get to feed some birds and that has included. See some koalas since we didn't see any koalas last night. Went on social media on Instagram and there's a person that I go to dental school with and they posted that they went to the Kumbaba and he got to see a koala and its baby. And when we went there we didn't see even like a decrepit old little koala. <laughs> So then we googled it and it's like, it's they're supposed to be most active at dawn and dusk and some websites say more so at dusk. So we jumped in our car and we're in the summer so the sun doesn't set until like, well after 6 o'clock and the, the one we went to before closes at 6. So we're like, oh we'll go to this other one and then we can walk during dusk and then we'll see one. <laughs> we did not see one. Now we're gonna go see some in captivity. <laughs> can't escape us. Yeah, hey, can't escape us. First time seeing a koala. I'm not even sure they're real. No drink. They absorb most of their water from the leaves. It's the koala nursery. That's why they all have babies. Look at him, Oh, look at the baby over there. Oh my god, turn quick. Oh. Quick. Look at it. Take a picture of it. The baby was coming down the tree. See the baby, needy. Behind it. Yeah. Behind it. 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 rings on the trees so that they're contained. They can only they can only go on the designated trees. 
Can you see the baby crawling down? No, I'm looking at the right across the pool. Oh. I think that was a moon. I don't think that's a good word sound. see some wombats. So we went for a walk last night at night to see if we could see some koalas which we didn't end up seeing and then we saw like this short little dark figure that kind of had like pointy ears in the trees and when he saw us he turned around and got out of there. But it was really quick and a little bit far away so we couldn't really see what it was but we're thinking it was a wombat because it was so small it was kind of compact close to the ground so then Brandon wanted to see a wombat here to compare they bite don't stick your hands through they can move really fast and their teeth never stop growing come out Look at that. There's wildlife in the alone lizard. Red tail black cockatoo. This is a different enclosure we're not allowed to go in. But I might like cockatoos a little bit more than parrots because they just they look like they have so much attitude. He looks like he's got a Mohawk. <laughs> His name is Boss Hog. Boss Hog the Crocodile. The poor guy is all by himself in that pen. There's Boss Hog. Boss Hog the Living Log. <laughs> That's just what he looks like. He looks like a living log. It says he's five meters in length and 700. He's estimated to be almost 60 years old in 2013. That just looks like a telephone. <laughs> this is the smaller crocodiles of a different variety. They look like they might all be on the banks over there. Looks like they might have a boat. Three or four? Nope. One, two, three, four, five, like six. I'm really afraid to ever come across some of these in real life. Not the turtles, though. It's like, I counted four. Freshwater. Freshwater crocodile. I can see that through there. Maybe he's lunch for these guys. Small birds. Oh no, I missed some yawn. These guys are from Western Australia. That turtle it just keeps moving his head. I'm surprised that they're not in the water. They're cold blooded, aren't they? Yeah, but the big alligator. Estuary and one was in the water. I like that. This is the, the crocodile area with the crocodile sign. Yeah. This poor girl got hung on the zip line, so she's gonna walk herself by her hands. Buy kangaroo food. That's if you want them to interact with you. So we got kangaroo food. A really, a really nice lady came up to us and gave us free kangaroo food. So we don't have to buy any. 
Oh, that's really sweet. So now we gotta go try and find some kangaroos. Oh. This tiny little thing. Oh, he's a dog. I'm gonna pet him, but I also don't want to wake him up. Wrong thing. Good boy. He's so tiny. Step over the creek. Look at all these ducks. I don't know. Probably not. Do you guys eat kangaroo food? I don't think they're gonna trust me enough to try. <laughs> oh my goodness, they are eating it. I'd rather eat the leaves. It's <laughs> just so tiny. You probably don't want any of this, do you? Yeah, look at all this food. There's kids just sort of like laying it, leaving it on the ground in front of all of them. Cause they're all just like so full. And they actually want like greenery more. There's a, there's a baby Joey in that pouch, but he's not like all the way in the pouch. I don't have any food. Please don't come and beg for food. <laughs> yeah, you can see, you can see it's a little foot hanging out. It's not all the way in. <laughs> He's actually eating. You gotta do this. He's like full-blown, like eating all of them. Chewing. I am bugging you. I think the flies are bugging him. 
Now you touched him, he's gonna get his stink off him. Second to finish chewing. I think they have like more dainty heads. It's watching people now. Little wallaby. Oh my god. <laughs> he like eats it all. Like I feel like doing that is like when horses kick up dust. Like I think he's trying to like get dusty. Are you a wallaby? Versus a kangaroo? I don't know. He's a wannabe pet. Got his eye on something. I think that's a wallaby. And I think this guy kangaroo. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> They're scary looking, aren't they? They got an electric fence. That's intense. Oh, oh, rock wallabies. I think, I think these guys are just little ones, aren't they? Maybe that's what we saw. Maybe we didn't see a Paula. <laughs> Looks like he's scratching the other one's butt. <laughs> oh, look at that. I think you could get them to. Nope. <laughs> Maybe if you just put some in your hand and reach out. <laughs> bunch of them here though. No. 
I go closer to him, is he just gonna walk away? I think this was the what they were yelling at people to stand back for. I think if he grunts like that, uh, come this way. That kid's gonna keep walking and he's gonna probably feel like he's trapped. You gotta see this. He like moves his head in a certain way to basically like pick up water and then drink it down. That was like a tail, like the drop bear. But no, apparently there was actually a war against them. Unless the Australians are really messing with us about that. No. <laughs> it sounds like it should be fake, right? Ah, I'm not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> are you still hungry? Anymore? Have a check? Nope. Not hungry anymore. We left out. Still have like half a cup of food. <laughs> I just want to take this one home. Iguana. Excellent swimmers. Can change from green to blue or orange. Central America. He probably enjoys this heat though. Are we just keeping that kangaroo food? Can we eat some? See what it tastes like? It smells like cereal. It looks like pellets that you mix into like horse and cow feed. Make it smell like... It smells like rabbit food. Probably is. Cassowary. It's endangered. Oh, there it is. Over there. That's uh... Doesn't that look like a dinosaur? It's got like a big horn on its head. Here. No way it can attack you.
Yeah, they're not even from here. They're from China, India, Nepal, and Bhutan? I think I said that right. You see the castle right in the background? You can prowl again. He's so cool in the hut. too much. If it's close, it's fine. So when I do this, you can like see, I can see my reflection anyway. Yeah. Just way down there. He just wants out. Sound like a cat screaming. Just looks like a dog out there. I love how they have like all these ropes courses and all these different 
stuff from them and they're all just like dead. It says only the dominant male and female will reproduce, but the entire group takes care and they're from Colombia. He's got like a weird eye. Hi. Oh, am I gonna lose my hat? Wow. Oh. Oh. This is a. Good fellows. It's from Papua New Guinea and Indonesia.
This is all water. Might look like grass. There is a turtle. I'm probably never going to be able to find it. Like, oh. He went down. <laughs> this is fascinating. It's a turtle. I think he thinks he's going to be fed. Because he's getting really excited. <laughs> oh, there's some sunglasses. I don't put them on my boots all the time. Now I gotta figure out how to pick them up. Big going turtle. Maybe drop my sunglasses. <laughs> Down another foot. <laughs> Attempt number two. Random long arm. Yeah, we're gonna have to get creative. Drop my sunglasses. Saw a turtle. So I tried to film them and I bent over and I forgot my sunglasses were propped in my, my boobs. I don't know if this is going to be the best shot to get. I had to wear a dress. Yeah. <laughs> I dropped my sunglasses! <laughs> <laughs> right there. <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Don't do it! <laughs> <laughs> Try to cool off. They do get breezier. These terrible dad jokes right there. Oh, there's the reach. <laughs> well, look at that! Stephen at, at, at Attenborough. There's the train again. I love how the first time it was like. That's so cool! And then now it's just, I didn't realize it just runs like the entire day. It's like 20 <laughs> seconds for it to get from one end of the park to the other. <laughs> and then it goes back the other way. The stops for people to get on and off are probably longer than the actual journey. Oh, some more ducks. This is probably one of the better angles. I have not seen any bingos yet. They were hiding at the zoo. Probably hiding now too, I don't see them. Do you? I don't think they saw them either. I bet they're in their little boxes. Yeah. Box houses. They just look like dogs though. Yeah. More like coyotes almost? That's how they were whistling so you'd look up. Now he's just sleeping. You see him later? Uh, no, dogs. They look more like dogs than coyotes. Look at 
that girl sitting to catch me? You know what they sound like a little bit? Like Woody Woodpecker. I don't think Woody Woodpecker sounds like a woodpecker. I think he sounds more like a kookaburra when he does his laughing. No? <laughs> I can't think of it. He goes, ah, ah. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't quit my day job to be a voice actor. <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Yeah. That could be another chance. I also didn't see a Tasmanian devil at the... I think they're really hard to spot. It's the train again! What is that AC in Oh, I hope so. He's in like a tiny little metal box. Oh, Bill Nibok, Land of the Parrots. I think this one speaks. It's, I don't know, I keep hearing one that says hello. There's a bar. Bar shoulder dove. I'm not gonna even try. Oh, I saw one of these cockatiels. the 
find a worm or a mealworm or something. That one's whistling. This is supposed to be the land of the oh, of the parrot. Look, this guy with the bad hairdo is like right there. Oh, he's flying away. I'm sorry. Look, this guy just looks like this tough. This looks like he couldn't get the gel to like hold his hair down. <laughs> Great myth. <laughs> are you coming? Are you coming to hang out with us? He looks like he has something in his feet. This is the bottom of his feet. Oh my goodness. Hi, guy. He's so cute, buddy. something and the sign for him was on the other side. Oh man, why did you come back every time I leave? He doesn't like me. He doesn't like me, no. going out first and then I can't <laughs> yeah, yeah. if it was reasonably priced it actually does look kind of fun I want to kind of zip line too though like if there's like a big tall one somewhere Do you just walk this way for the mister? Maybe. Ice cream. Can we get a koala hat? More cheats. Oh, look at the cute crocodile up there. 
Uh, I remember playing with rubber snakes when I was a kid. I like this as well. Isn't this like North American? But isn't this like North American? I guess we're going up here. So I kind of want to be different. So Brandon, how is it? Good. Ooh. Okay, we have the gray headed flying fox. Sorry, mom, they kind of look like bats. They actually look like crows when they fly at night because they're so big. Which is probably something my mom doesn't want to hear. She's not a huge fan of bats or the flying variety. Oh, look at him, he's scratching. Look at him scratch. Too bad they have this cage. It'd be cool if you could go in there with them. I don't know if any of this is going to turn out because of that. Where is it? There's the bin chickens. Hanging around the bins. I'm currently in the bee area, but I'm not seeing any bees. This is a good idea. Yum. How's yours? What did you get? Salted caramel macadamia. With the cookies and cream. It tastes just like that. Koala country or conservation country? I don't know, I'm cool enough with this fan. <laughs> this is the trail. It's got built in thing for the app. And yeah, so quickly walk through. Yeah. It's just a whole bunch of big, big dinosaurs. Australia Zoo had something similar, and I was kind of surprised by it. There's sound effects, though. I don't think Australia Zoo had sound effects for theirs. I wonder if there's there any bigger. Albertosaurus here. You hear it growl at you? It's angry. I could even suggest that. Some more big dinosaurs. The demon duck of doom. I thought that was just the emus. Aren't the emus here technically the ducks of doom? Deadly ducks of doom? That looks like Pokemon. I always thought Mega Fauna was talking about like the vegetation, not the animals. No, no fauna. Hmm? Fauna is animal, flora is plants. Uh, yeah. Something called the Pacific Black Duck. White eyed duck. And then they have a wandering whistling duck. And then there's a plumed whistling duck. It's because the colors are all faded in there. That could be. Say that we really don't know where we're going because it's just like paths everywhere, and then you just see a cage, and you're like, We're trying to like stick to the outside to make a big circle, but you don't know which way. Yeah, so I like he here we are, we could go left or we could go right. 
And then there's a fork every 10 feet. And there's a fork, yeah, every 10 feet, so... So we're left or right? Yeah, okay. we want to go around the outside. All them girls go around the outside, around the outside. <laughs> around the outside. <laughs> I got a slight smile for that one. Brandon, Brandon likes M&M. Wasn't paying enough attention. Yay! We finally found a wastebasket. Ooh, and it's hot. We found out where the free bird show is. Take that, O'Reilly's. Hey, this one's free. One of O'Reilly's is like 50 bucks a person. Well, I mean, you pay 100 bucks to get in here. But now we can just come just for the bird show. Just get in. Oh, wait, no. I can See any birds yet? Oh, there's some of your crested. They're racing. Those are crested pigeons. That we saw at the. What was that? It's like two different lorikeets. Funny sound when they fly. playing with a stick over there. Nobody's in here, we can shamelessly vlog. So we're looking at birds in the bird sanctuary. These the same. Yeah, so the same ones. I think we saw the crested. So that must be the scaly breasted lower feet. I think they had some of those at uh, the O'Reilly Rainforest Retreat. Train. But that's the joys of those double door systems and children. One kid just kept holding the inside door open so I couldn't open the outer door until he tried to get his whole family to come through and yeah. They just be like that old guy and not care. To be like the old guy and just let all the birds out. Decide that they're rehab rehabilitated and just Open the door. I miss the train, this little train that runs along here. The train is coming, Brandon! <laughs> That's quite neat. Yeah, 
the train guy honked at me. The light was flashing, but he was still so far away. I knew that he, I was gonna be able to make it across before. He's probably just like, oh, the girl's got her camera. She's probably taking pictures. Oh, is that a crocodile? Is that a crocodile? That looks like a crocodile. That's not a crocodile, is it? Oh, there's turtles on it. It's not a crocodile. False alarm. But it's got turtles on it. There's another one like way out there. Brandon, there's like another one that's way, way out there that has like a ton of them. Face first. I don't know what he is. children. It should have made sense because when we were walking through the gate of it, <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of kids climbing on the rocks and the fake crocodile. <laughs> Walking back to the other side of the park. Actually, it wasn't too much closed. Didn't it see wasn't... any Tasmanian devils. Didn't see any wombats. Yeah, I think they're both nocturnal, though. I haven't seen any kind of echidna. I haven't seen any echidna. I think they're also really difficult to spot, so we might not have any luck there either. But we have seen koalas. Yeah, very cute. Yeah. Tamar. So parts of Western Australia and Adelaide. Like. How cute are they? I'll be even be able to see him. It's in a bright spot. Sorry, why you chose it. Get the one over here drinking water. Hey, little guy. Hi. Woo. He's running away. He's gonna walk, he's like behind the tree. Look at all of those people just walking by, we don't even know. Look 
probably getting better video than I am. have to stand by them because they make you come and get your own tray and then a volunteer comes around and fills it. For a so, cash donation? For a cash donation. So, yeah. Don't have to stand by the tray thing. Okay, sorry, sorry. It does look like they're probably down to the place. Um, but if you are in the area, like I said, do please be sure to come back to our morning session. A they don't want to come down. <laughs> There's a whole bunch that came down at the beginning and then a plane flew over and scared them and now they don't want to come down. That's where the parking lot is that we couldn't find. Literally right across the street <laughs> from the entrance. <gasps> leaving. It's 4.36. We didn't stay for the whole war. Keep feeding because they just didn't want to come back. So the lucky few that got their trays at the beginning actually got a bird, but after they got afraid of the airplane, they just flew away. But my favorite thing was I was watching this one guy feed and they want you to hold the the tray as high as you can in the, in the air and he's doing it with one hand and his daughter's <laughs> it's like probably, I don't even know, 12 year old daughter or something like that was standing in front of him and he's holding it with one hand in his hand. His wrist started to get sore and the, the tray started to go to the side and he dumped a whole bunch of nectar right on her head. <laughs> so, that was funny. But yeah. Apparently we have to come at, to the morning feedings that run from like 8 until 9 because they're busier, I guess. This is a pretty good day. This is what we're driving through. Just a whole bunch of swervy road, trying to avoid the, what is that other road? The Gold Coast Highway. I think we're trying to avoid Burley on the way back. Getting on the M1 because surprisingly that might actually be faster. <laughs> All I can think about is food. I don't know what we're doing for supper. So, this is my fish and chips. It's Brandon's burger. We decided to come to the little the Irish, pub. the Irish pub that's a block away or something from our hotel. So, I'm quite excited. Fish and chips. Oh, there's a shot. <laughs> <laughs> 